I kind of forgot what was going on in this game. <laughs> oh yeah, I remember now. I remember now. So we're still stuck. And those of you who were watching yesterday know that I was uh I was struggling to I was struggling to make progress. So today we're gonna shift gears and we're gonna go and unlock these other characters in the story. Okay. I have to somehow figure out how to go north. As in terms of games as well, um, got to go east and the north. In terms of games, I am going to be playing more single player games. You guys have probably noticed. Uh, we're going to be chain. We're going to be playing more single player games. Thinking about it, it should be less fatiguing for you, even though it may be as many. Well, yeah, that's the thing. Um, when I do the split schedule, my days are longer. It's true. Because even though I'm not streaming, even though I'm not streaming, I'm still actively doing stuff. So my days become 10 a.m. to midnight, pretty much. You're absolutely right. It does end up being less fatiguing in one long stream than it does for, you know, in the two shorter streams. And that's something I noticed health-wise too. Is that Let us begin. I noticed that health-wise that I was much more exhausted doing split schedules than I would if I were to do one eight-hour thing. And it took its toll. It's like it really, really started to take its toll. Nighthood, bring your shade. Coming, if thou darest. Put the five dollars in your back pocket. All right, I'll buy a Tenogen skin. What's this jewel of a game? <laughs> this is called Octopath Traveler. Uh, lazy lines, then. Do you ever do co-op with Mrs. One? I know she's a display so We talked about it. I'm going to ask her again. She's shy, man. She's like the shyest entity in the universe. And she mentioned it one day and it shocked me. And I was like, all right, I want to do that. And then it never came up again. So I got to follow up on it. Get her on comms. And we can do a co-op or something. But, uh, you know, there may be something special we can do. Maybe that can be a sub goal incentive or something. And don't ask her to get on camera. She's not going to get on camera. That just ain't going to happen. <laughs> that's just that's just not going to happen, man. Thank you. She's not going to get on camera, but um, I am ready. She definitely will. Uh, you know, want to do some co-op or something. The show is over. Oh, this is a Nintendo Switch game. It's pretty pricey. I don't have a Buona code or anything. It's a Nintendo Switch game. Uh, Octopath Traveler. Let's see if I can do this. Uh, the name of the game is called Octopath Traveler. Um... It's sixty dollars US. Pretty pricey. Okay, so now we're going north. No, we're not. We just went. Oh yeah, we did. Yeah, we did. Yeah, we did. Looks like I've already been here. Oh, is that Cyrus? Oh, Cyrus chapter one. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay. That's right. Can I go? I cannot. 
Yeah, it's Nintendo Switch. Yep. I just recently got this device uh, Saturday. Only have the Wii U. Portal co-op? She doesn't like Portal. Well, I mean, we got games that we both can play. So that finding a game is not going to be the problem. The problem, not, not, I, I wouldn't even call it a problem. It's just, uh, how do I get over there? No. Um... I will say that's going to be the problem. It's just going to be, you know, actually doing Ready it with it. Here I come. Here I go. The winds of fortune are howling. I am ready. Ha! Yeah, this is Square Enix. I doubt they're going to Victory shall be mine. I doubt they're going to um I doubt they're going to put it on another platform. I agree with that assessment. On this map. Letting the hunt begin it. The mix of our styles is amazing. Absolutely agree with man. That was the thing that drew me to this game. It was like it's got an old school feel, and then you look at it closely and you really see the modern graphics on it. It's really cool. I will cut you down. The lighting is the thing that stands out to me. The lighting and shading. The show is over. I'm beginning to think I should just leave because I'm not getting any XP for these. I should just flee these fights. I gotta go north somehow. It looks like it is this way. Yeah, it is this way. So I think this is the right way. And this should take me to another story. Uh, story guy. Yeah, we're gonna flee this. I am ready. All right. Pretty sure I haven't been here. Maybe I have. We'll find out. No, I got open treasure chest. I have been here. <laughs> I have been here. May I exactly, Lions Den. I love it, man. How about you? Let's see if I can flee this. Dumb customers interrupting my Twitch watching. That's funny. <laughs> okay, I just walked right past the city. So that was the wrong way. I think this is the city right here. To the giant steps with flags and whatnot. Yeah, we're definitely going to flee this. Let us fight with honor. No, I, I want to fight these. I just want to see what they're weak to. The battle is true. I will cut you down. It's not a sword. I am ready. It's dark Night magic. Mode. Bring your shade. Oh, he doesn't like dark magic. Top what guy. 
Uh. Nope. Let in the hunt. Nope, he doesn't like axe. Are you trying to kill her? How about this? Let in my arrow fly in true. Let's try arrow. There we go. He doesn't like arrow. Victory shall be mine. Uh, let's do an SP steal. Hey, you lived through it. It's my turn now. I still can't steal. But I can shoot a bow. Once. Now then. HP still? No, let's do another SP. I'm <laughs> just taking all the SP. Come in if um, so London. Monday. This guy's tough. I am ready. Look at you. I'm scared of you. The moonlight walks. The show is over. Alright. So now I should get to the city and get this next story. Wow, what a long... Atlas Dam. Got it. Saving. No, let's just go back to the top. Top slot. <laughs> you need this game in your life? It's beautiful, man. It's such a beautiful game. Um... I don't see... I guess I can get some... Uh... Let's see. I don't see any vendors yet. Oh, here, here's the armor guy. Let me see what level stuff they're selling. Ooh. This is actually some improvements. We got an arcane glaive, which is an upgrade for both Tressa and what's his face. Yeah, let's let's put those on them. Or what did I lose on? I lost a stat. I didn't even see that. Um. Shields are fine. Get an elemental attack on that. Uh, linen robe, sturdy armor. Um, she loses, Tressa loses evasion, but she gains elemental defense and elemental attack. That might be worth. But it's, it's minor. <laughs> Talk to her after you buy it. Um... Oh, I'm not even, this is not even the palace gate yet. All right. So I haven't even gotten to the palace yet. He's got grapes. Oh, those are essences. Those are not actually grapes. All right, let's go up here and see where the story begins. There he is. Story time. His name is Cyrus, and he is a scholar. This is Atlas Dam, nestled in the fertile plains of the Flatlands. It is home to the Royal Academy, where many a scholar studies night and day to bring the light of knowledge to the royal family and to all the realm. He passes his days in the halls of the Great Library, devouring tomes to his heart's content. It is in that library where he learns of a grievous theft Certain that one of his fellow scholars is the culprit, Cyrus sets out alone to confront the man in his shadowy subterranean study. He will need wise allies on the path he has chosen. Uh, 
All right, we're going to retire. Uh, why can't I retire Hannah? Because she was first? Oh, she's party leader. That's why. Who am I going to retire? I can, trust I never. All right, Prim. Uh, I'm going to miss you. Hear the beginning of the tale. And so it was that Atlas Dam was founded some two centuries ago. Indeed, our fair city-state is among the longest standing on the continent of Austera. But there was another city-state with a history as long and proud as our own that came to a tragic ruin only eight short years ago. Now, who can tell me its name? How about you, Therese? <laughs> I, um, I think it was... <laughs> Now, now. No need to get all flustered. Get flustered, Teresa. There's no shame in not knowing an answer, so long as you have a desire to learn. Oh, there's shame in not knowing. Oh, there is shame. The answer <laughs> is in your textbook. Go on now, look it up. Find the right answer or you're punished and banished from my school until you end up dying. Yes, Professor. David, what's up? Good morning, Ryan JC. David, you won the tier three sub, but I can't give it to you yet. Twitch won't let me. So, um, I don't know why, because you're tier one now, I'm sure. And it won't let me upgrade you. So, got to figure that out. And Ryan JC, you want a gift card from, you want a gift card from uh, Tyzoon. For being in the top 10, you won the Steam card drawing. So congratulations to Ryan JC. But yeah, man, we got to figure that out. I don't know what to do. It's like I tried to gift you a tier three sub and it was like, this user cannot be gifting this sub at this time. I'm like, what? So do you know what day your, your, uh, your, your sub expires? If you'd like me to know what day it expires, I'll, I'll send a note to myself and then I'll just do it then. And we will... Somebody's gonna snipe you, I know. They always do. They'll gift you a sub before I can. That is correct. Hornburg was ruled over by a royal. Golly, that's a long time. From August thirteenth. Ancient and long forgotten religion. All right, let me uh, let me jot it down. But congrats, man, you won. With like two hundred thousand. I forgot what the final number was, but you, it was quite a bit. Um, let's see. Alarm. Actually, let me just send myself an email now, and then I'll do the alarm later. Yeah. Murder. David. Chef. Tier. Three sub August thirteenth. I'm glad I know how to speak Buona. Cause I'll see this email and be like, what am I oh, that's what I mean. But congrats, man. We'll figure it out. I can't believe you can't upgrade people. No, let me try it in chat. Let me see this. Hold on. Nope, it's grayed out in chat, too. Gift subscription is grayed out. Wang. Wang. Cry, cry. And wang. On the other hand, 
Our fair Atlas Dam was founded by one of the original clans that inhabited the flatlands. Indeed. Who can tell me how many clans lived in the flatlands at the time? Your Highness? Six. The histories have it that eight clans did live in the flatlands in those days. Oh, she answered that like she was on Jeopardy. Correct you are, Your Highness. It was a time of great strife here in the Flatlands as the eight clans waged a long and bitter war. Change would come when the armies of Grandfort invaded these lands some two centuries ago. At the time, the rulers of Grandfort sought to exert their influence over territories inland. Ironically, this compelled the warring tribes Oops. to put aside their differences and unite against their common foe. Oh, but look at the time. Uh, we'll pick up where we left off next time. She just walked in. Don't forget to read chapters three and four before our next lecture. Three and four? These chapters are like... Long. Ooh, a new ad. I think. No, that's League of Legends. Never mind. Loots are good for the soul, says David. Thank you, man. And be prepared to answer questions on any of the material within. Okay. Yes, Professor. Thank you for another most stimulating lecture, Professor Albright. Nods, nods, nods all around. Oh yeah, I was talking about games. So yeah, we're gonna be playing. Um, Hello. We're gonna be uh, playing more single player games on the stream than usual. But uh, given that we're gonna be doing one stream, it's probably gonna be a split. So we're gonna do like maybe one half or one third of a single player game, and uh, then we'll play something else. So yeah. Like, I, I do have Horizon Zero Dawn still to play. Final Fantasy 15 to play. Um, we still got to do the other. We got to do Rise of the Tomb Raider. We got to do Zelda. We got to do um, it's a bunch of titles. So we got, we got a lot of stuff lined up. On top of the Warframe. On top of the Elite Dangerous. On top of the... Because um, we're going to be firing up Elite Dangerous soon here again, too. Uh, what else? I want to play more of, uh, of, uh, Realm Royale. I want to squeeze that in a little bit more. Have some fun with that. Bunch of games. Splendid. So many games, so little time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I got to figure I mean, this game right here is like enormous. This is like a game that you can just enjoy for, for uh, I feel like, like almost years. Like, I don't want to rush through it. Some people, I've seen some streamers like get miserable because they're trying to finish it. Gonna do what Ko does. No, we're gonna do what Buana does. I'm not gonna mimic any other streamer. I mean, that's advice I give you guys. Don't mimic or copy any other streamers. Be yourself. So I'm not gonna do that. We're gonna mix it up how we see fit. If you guys missed the schedule change, uh, I'm going to be, I'm going to be uh, starting at 4 p.m. From now on, and we're going to have one long stream. A 
Um... Professor Albright! All these gasps. <laughs> giggle, giggle. Your Highness. Your Highness. The truth of the matter is... But of course! But of course! Hey, pack, thanks for loots. I, I smell a setup coming. Indeed. Craig Allen, how you doing, man? I was just thinking about you the other day. I was like, I wonder how he's doing. I hope he's feeling okay. Yeah, we're gonna be starting at 4 p.m. Eastern now. Um, until whenever, and I want to go a minimum of four, a maximum of whenever. I'm gonna be shooting for eight-hour streams though. So think like 4 p.m. to midnight. So it's going to be a, a, a night stream for for most of the U.S. Well, some of the U.S. The West Coast, I'll be ending probably, you know, before it's like super, super late. And it'll be like uh, it, the stream will start around prime time, Europe time and morning time, Australia time. So 4 p.m. Eastern until whenever. But good to see you, man. I'm glad I'm glad you're here. Good, good, good. Okay, man. I was just wondering about the ancient religion of Hornburg. Pray tell, what do they worship? She's stalling. This girl's stalling, chat. Yeah, Craig, I don't know if you heard, uh, on Saturday, people people donated, and I got a, I got a Nintendo Switch. And I'm going to be revisiting, uh, also, the PS4 you bought me. We're going to be playing Horizon Zero Dawn soon. And I got Final Fantasy XV on there, too. And I got Zelda. So I got a bunch of... This is like I'm, I'm turning into a console streamer, man. And people gave me that money for that. That was it was so so generous. Yeah, can't believe it. I was it, it was like a it was very very spur of the moment. Huh? It was it was fueled by because Warframe is coming to this, and that really shook me. I was like, I guess I'm getting a switch now that Warframe is coming to the switch, and. um and then I saw this game, which looked incredible. And I was like, oh, I want to play that. And then <laughs> it was, it was, it was kind of funny because I think it was a Saturday morning. I was looking at the upcoming games on Steam and we were looking at trailers and stuff. And it was so depressing. It was something, a lot of the games were just awful. They were just disgustingly bad. And I got so depressed. I'm like, I'm getting a switch. This is dumb. And I put up a goal. I put up a donation goal thinking it would like last through August or whenever. And it lasted about 15 minutes. It lasted about 15 minutes. I was like, oh, well, I guess I'm getting the switch. The truth. Because I literally put like an end date of like August 30th on the goal. I was like, if we can hit it by the end of August, that would be really good. <laughs> and it was like 15 minutes. Crazy, I know. Oh, mind you guys, we, we will be starting our subathons at the same time. That's not going to change. So subathons are going to be at noon, as usual. Yeah, it's a fun... It's, I mean, this is the only game I've played on it so far. But it 